Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to implement REST API using GitX and Flutter. And this is the third video in our GitX video series. In previous video, we have discussed about GitX state management and GitX navigation manager. If you don't know about those topics, I recommend to watch them first so you won't face any issue in this video. And if you already know them, then we are good to continue with this video. So in this video, we are going to use OpenSea API to retrieve items from a specific collection. And from there, we will fetch the image name description and also the URL for that specific image. If we click that, we will be redirected to the actual item link. Also, I have to mention that in this video, we will use only get method. And in the coming videos, we will see how to use post method, put method and delete method in the API implementation and how we can pass some parameters like token into API and retrieve data. So without talking too much, let's get started with the tutorial and see how we can implement REST API using GitX and Flutter. But before that, I request you to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss such amazing videos in the future. And now let's get started. All right, first thing you have to do is of course import the GitX and also HTTP for using APIs. All right, the plan is to show the items in a list view and the actual data comes from the controller where we have to create a separate file for our controller. And also we have to create a model to get the data from API, pass it to the model and then show it into our user interface. So let's get started with creating a separate folder. Okay, we have our controller and model for now. They are empty and uh, let's start with model and fill it with some data. So inside the model, basically we just add our variables and getters and setters that will allow us to pass the data and then later on fetch it into any screen that we want. So here's our API data, which is in form of JSON file. And to create model from this API, you can simply come and convert it to JSON and then copy the whole JSON and then come to this website you can simply paste your JSON file give it a class name like openc model and then click convert to dart it will give you the ready-made model for your whole json file now you can simply copy this dart file come back to your model and paste it here as you can see right now our model is very long of course we will not use all of these data we will have to do some cleanup here because we will show only the image the title the name and the permanent link those are the only data that we are going to require so let me clean up the things and then we can continue with our controller. All right, so I did the cleanup and uh, I only require the image URL, image description and permanent link. And these are the from and to JSON, which will give us access to these variables. As you can see here, some late declarations and null data types, which can cause us null error later on. Let me make them null safe and we will continue. All right, I've made them nullable and also here nullable. Now our model is completely ready. We can simply call this method to pass the JSON into it and then we can call this one to get the JSON. So now let's jump to our controller and write the logic to retrieve data from API using GitX and then show it into our user interface. So the first thing we do is create a class for your controller and then extend it with GitX controller. All right, inside the controller, first we declare our variables and to get started, the first variable will be loading variable to pass the awareness for our UI that whether the data is loaded from API or not. And we also make this variable observable to later on check its value and then update our UI according to this. Second one will be an instance of our model so that we can pass the data from our controller. All right, down here, let's write a function to fetch the data from the API. Okay, to fetch data from API, we need to import the HTTP package. All right, so here's the function which we can retrieve data from API. So first thing I do is make this variable as true and then using HTTP package we can use the get method which this get method will take URI you can simply pass URI.parse which inside the parse you can pass your URL string and inside here I have passed my API URL which is for this collection and then we check if the response.status code is equals to 200 which means is successful 
and then we have to decode the body of this response because it is encoded we cannot directly read that or retrieve that we can use json decoder by dart convert package and then assign the result into the variable called result now this one will hold a json file we can simply call opencmodel.from json and pass our result and then it will be assigned to our local variable that we have created inside our controller later on we will use this variable to fetch our data inside our view and if the response.code is not equal to successful it means something else we can simply say print error fetching data and then if this try method fails due to some errors like there is a connection error or anything then we will print the error here and then finally we make the is loading equals to false it means data is either loaded or not loaded so this is our whole logic for fetching data from api now let's go to our design and draw a simple list view and fetch the data inside our list view okay now to access the data from our api we can create an instance of our controller and now using this instance we can simply access our data from our controller which in this case we have got the instance for our model and also down here it is assigned with the result which comes from our api so we are good let's give the item count so here we say opencmodel.assets.lint otherwise zero and if we come to our model you can see here asset is a list and that's why we can get the lint out of it so down here inside the title i will say okay in the title i said opencmodel.asset according to our index i will fetch the name and in subtitle i will show the description for that item asset.description and also in the leading i will show the image and here i have checked if the image is null then i will show this image icon otherwise i will just simply show the image url now let's launch our application and see the result okay so the app is running but we don't see anything here because we have just created the instance of our controller but we never called the fetch data and in case your application is stateful you can simply call opencfetch data on the init state but if it is not stateful then you have to come to your controller and override the init function to do that we can simply call this on init which is from getx controller and after super dot init we can call this fetch data and now whenever we create the instance of our controller this method will be called and this will call the fetch data which in result we will get our data into our model now we also have to wrap our list view with obx which makes it observable and before we run we actually have to make use of this loading variable to show the circular progress indicator if it is loading or fetching data from api and otherwise we can show our list view builder okay simply i can access the is loading using the opc controller dot value if it is true then i will show circular progress indicator otherwise the list view builder now if i save it and run the application okay you can see our application is running here and uh, we've got a bunch of crypto punks with their name and uh, there's no description of course maybe the description is null uh, right now we want to make it clickable so whenever we click on it it should open the specific crypto punk in the open c and for that we will require another package which is url launcher now down here we can have this function from url launcher and also import the url package into our main page and by calling this function i will be able to run any url which we want all right so we have got our permanent link and now if we restart the application because we have imported another package all right we have got our application and uh, here's all the crypto punks and now if we click one of these it will open in the browser since we are in the browser it will open in another tab and this is how it works and uh, yeah we have done it successfully so this is how we can retrieve data from api using gitx and flutter if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss such videos in the future and in the coming videos we will do some more advanced topic in the api thank you for watching i will see you in the next video